Hello, today is February 3rd, and welcome to HTV News. I'm Stephanie Garcia. And I'm Lucas Hanrahan. Here's what's going on at HHS. If you plan on attending after school tutoring this afternoon and you require bus transportation, you must sign up in the Media Center before 1 p.m. You must have a signed permission slip. 20, 20 Hobart Choir members earned superior ratings at, and gold medals for their performance at the District Solo and Ensemble competition this past Saturday. Seniors Nolani Holland, Marco Castillo earned gold medals for their Group 1 solos and will be performing at the state level in Indianapolis on t the February 22nd. Lila Castro and Mia Perez also gave amazing solo performances. Wolfgang and Dynamikes earned gold medals for their Group 1 ensemble pieces and will also be performing at state. Wolfgang members include Maddie Willis, Brooke Rosenbaum, Nolani, Amelia Marshall, Adriana Serrano, Rory Good, and McKenna Beck. Dynamikes include Nicole Drypick, Alyssa Burlo, Megan Horn, Olivia Ayner, Jasmine Alvarez, Maddie Baltershidis, Nathaniel Resendez, Marco Castillo, Nolani Holland, Ruby Wynn, Kayla Walker, and Kaylee Johnson. Congratulations and best of luck to all of you at state. The Key, fourth, the Key Club 4th Annual Spread the Love Campaign starts today, February 3rd, and will run until Wednesday, February 26th. Six hourglasses should bring in jars of peanut butter and or jelly. All donations will be Monday, February 3rd, 2020, which serves nearly 150 Hobart families weekly. When in class, can be sure to enjoy a lovely surprise. The LGBTQ group will meet on February 5th in the Bricky Stop during Power Hour. If you have any questions, please come to guidance. When there's a bump in the road, grief support m will be meeting Wednesday the 5th after school at 2.45 to 4. This group welcomes any HHS students that would like to have support regarding grief and loss. And now we tune in with Brandon and Jaden for sports. Our very own Hobart wrestling team ranked number 9 in state and boasting a 14-2 dual meet record with the only losses coming against number 5, Crown Point, and number 6, Chesterton. Through the first and second matches, Hobart only suffered four losses and had all 14 wrestlers competing for either a championship or a third and fourth place finish. Some of the winners for the IHSSAA section championship included Trevor Shamert, Nathan Shamert, Tyler Turley, Hayden Hamaki, Jaden Jacob Simpson, Mark Mummy, and Bobby Bacock. Keep up the great work. Our Lady Brickies finished out their 2019-2020 regular season with two final home contests, both of them offering an opportunity for Hobart to earn their 10th win, something that has only been done only once since 2015. On Tuesday, Hobart celebrated senior night prior to tip-off against the Wheeler Lady Bearcats. They jumped on an 11-5 lead, then two minutes into the second stanza. Unfortunately, the last point our girls would score in the first half as the Wheeler charged back to take a 15-13 lead. As the, as the Lady Brickies continued to struggle to find an offensive rhythm and lost to a tough 40-23. Friday night, the Hammond Lady Wildcats visited the friendly confines on the final game of the regular season with both squads. With our Lady Brickies still in search of that elusive 10th win, Hammond came out hot in the first quarter and led 5-0. Coach Fedler substituted five new faces onto court, including foreign exchange student Claudia Torrico, Les Benma, our girls won with a 63-32 victory. Thank you to our seniors, Gabby Ramirez, Cora Nice, Sanovia Poole, Paige Cooper, and Grace Nestich for representing purple and gold with pride. Last Saturday night, our, our Hobart Brickies boys basketball team lost a touch, one to Munster to drop their season six. six. Every time the Brickies have lost, the response with a W. With the tragic death of Kobe Bryant this past week, the Brickies sports wrap up their shirts with number 8 on the front and number 24 on the back. There were two numbers of work by Bryant during this 20-year career with the Lakers. The backcourt combo of seniors guards Caleb Bandroff and Tyler Schultz once again led the way for Hobart and junior Quentin White added 7 in the win. Our Brickies are currently 7-6 on the season and have a huge NCC game at Kanky Valley. On Thursday night, both Hobart and Lowe joined the Valparaiso Lady Vikings in their fair house for some fun. So far, our gymnastics team has been scoring 97s as a team. After the scores were tallied for competition on all four events, the Lady Brickies earned a collective score of 98.600. Sophomore 
Aisha Aries placed fifth in, the, in all round with a 33.35. She was sixth on the vault, eighth on the bars, and seventh on the floor. Senior Neely Harp was right behind her with a seventh place finish in the all around at 31.2. She placed eighth on the vault and ninth on the beam. After finishing third at the NCC Comp Championship last week, if the Hobart Lady Brickies could defeat Lowe on Tuesday, they would finish the NCC duo meeting season at 4-1 and earn a tie for second place. Hobart placed eight of the 12 events and won a tough 102-84. Junior Emma Wright and Delaney O'Brien each won two individual events and contributed to two wins to help Hobart skate its claim at second best. Our boys are in the same situation as the girls. A win over Lowell would earn them a tie for second place of the season. We would finish in third. Hobart's only two wins on the night came from the junior Chad Telmanga and sophomore Ethan Ferba. A sophomore sensation set a new PR in one meter diving and now holds the fourth highest sixth dive in total in school history. Way to go, Ethan. The Lady Brickies bowling team traveled to Anderson to compete in state finals on Saturday. Over 110 teams began the postseason around the state and against the best. Our girls finished in third place overall. Congrats to senior Angel Milasso for receiving the State Mental Attitude Award. Junior Caleb Carey also had a strong showing down in Anderson as he capped off his season with a fifth place finish individually. On Tuesday, Lady Brickies senior guard Grace Natisha signed her national letter of intent to continue both her academic and athletic career. Keep up the great work, everyone. Now back to you, Lucas and Stephanie. Thanks, Jane and Brandon. Environmental Club will meet Thursday right after school in Miss Murden's room to work on the plants. Key Club will be, will be selling candy grams during all lunches in the Great Hall. Send your best friend, favorite teacher, or significant other a no entry. Candy grams are on sale for $1 or three for $2. All candy grams will be delivered February 13th during 7th hour. An important safety tip, please use the sidewalks on the north side of 10th Street. This means you should safely cross 10th Street to get through the sidewalk. Community members are concerned and want to keep you safe, as do we. When you must be on the non-sidewalk side of 10th, be sure to use the bike lane and watch for traffic. That concludes this edition that concludes this edition of HTV News. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School Radio and TV channel. Remember, Remember only the best, best for HHS. HHS. Have, Have a great, great day, day everyone. everyone.